got your message, Miranda. Is this about your sister? Shepard, I need access to Alliance resources. I can't say any more. You'll just have to trust me. You'll have your access, Miranda. But I don't like the sound of this. I know. And thank you. It means a lot. That's not the only thing you wanted to talk about, is it? No. I need to tell you something. Confess, really. It's been eating away at me. Confess? <sighs> when I headed the Lazarus Project to rebuild you, I wanted to implant a control chip in you as a safeguard. I think you mentioned this. I did. There's more to it. The elusive man stopped me. I understand why you wanted to. I was a complete unknown. I've never had to deal with that many black boxes on a project. I felt blind. Why bring that up now? I fought against my father and his need to run every aspect of my life. He wanted total control over me, right down to my bloody DNA. After I got out of there, I couldn't stand by and let it happen to my sister. I risked my life to get her away from all that. Yet I didn't give a second thought to destroying your free will when I had the power. This is what's been bothering you? Yes. Miranda, I lost two years of my life. You gave me back the rest of it. You could have changed me in a thousand different ways. But you didn't. I don't know how, but you brought me back. Thanks. But with so much being uncertain, I just wanted you to know I always regretted wanting that chip. You can't keep beating yourself up over the past. I usually don't. But this was important. Some things you just don't have control over. Guess my fancy genetics can't help me there. No, they can't. Okay. I hate to say it, but I should get moving. Thanks for understanding, Shepard. Of course. And Miranda, this thing you have to do. Good luck. Don't worry, Shepard. I always have a plan. Clutch is stabilized? Really? That is wonderful news, my sister. You wish to name the first cat that the one who helped us? I think that's a wonderful idea. Hello, Shepard. Welcome to Super Gene Armor. We appreciate Armor. Welcome to Agor Thank you for Munitions. shopping at Agor Munitions. Welcome to No Sauce good Hunting. Reporting good. Welcome to Cosmo Thank you for Fabrication shopping. Weaponry. Fabrication Weaponry. We can have ships at the colony in 36 hours. Do you need medical support? No, evacuating the colony is more than enough. Thank you, Ambassador. Ambassador? I'm coordinating actions for the fleet while we're here. Evacuating colonies, bolstering Turian defense lines. 
I think it was right here. Three years ago to the day. What? This was where Seren's assassins fired at me. I'd just gotten to the Citadel. I didn't think I needed my barriers up. My mistake. You never told me about this. How bad was it? Got me in the arm. I used polonium rounds. I was running a fever in minutes. It was the first time I'd been really hurt on my pilgrimage. I ran to the Council Embassy, asked for protection, offered the data on Seren. The Turian clerk called me Soot Rat. He threatened to have me tossed off the station if I didn't leave. I wish that clerk could see you now. He just did. That was him back there. I don't think he remembers me. Maybe we should go have a little talk with that clerk. <laughs> I spent three years waiting to come back and make his life hell. But when I finally saw him, he was just a clerk whose people desperately need help. Which they'll get, thanks to you. Nice work, Ambassador. This war is more important than grudges and prejudice. Maybe he and I both needed to grow up a little. The difference is that you helped when it counted. Thanks, Shepard. So did you. major setbacks. The Turians and Krogan are still... Have you found my son? I found your son's body in the slums on Benning. He sacrificed himself to save his squad. I... Uh, see. Their guilt made them avoid me. They should feel honored by his sacrifice. I... I know that I do. Thank you, my friend. With the war between the Geth and the Quarians now ended, the Turian military is receiving vital and unexpected... Excuse me. I'm Commander Shepard. If you promise to be careful, I've got something for you. A Reaper code fragment? Yes, I can use this to try to predict their strategic processes. We might be able to save a few worlds with this, Commander. Thank you. Refugees from Takuna are fleeing to the... I have excellent news. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. You said it was impossible. How did you pull it off? Well, I talked to a few friends, called in a few favors, maybe even stayed up a few nights. I wasn't sure I could pull it off, but... I want all remaining files secured and marked for Tentron clearance only. Commander Shepard. Have you found something? We're continuing our investigation into Councilor Udina's activities. It's still not clear how he managed the coup attempt. However, I need to speak with you on another matter. Matters have taken a serious turn for the Asari Republics. We understand your crucible is still missing an important component. The catalyst, I believe you call it. Do you know where it is? Unfortunately, no. But we do have an artifact on our home world of Thessia, classified at the highest levels. What is it? Suffice it to say, it may help you identify the catalyst. The artifact is in a temple located at these coordinates. A scientific team there will provide assistance. If this artifact is so important, why keep it hidden? Even our allies can have their own agenda. A balance of power exists in the galaxy that we don't wish to upset. The Reapers are doing that right now. And that's why I'm sharing this with you. 
I appreciate the help. It's for both our benefit. The homeworld has never been threatened before. Thessia has always been an oasis in a galaxy full of turmoil. The Reapers are about to change that. I'll do what I can. More lives depend on you than any soul should have to bear. You have my prayers. First time since the Rachni War, the Asari homeworld of Thessia has been attacked by alien forces. Good. I guess it's almost gone. It seems the galaxy can't keep us apart. The Blue Suns, Blood Pack, and Eclipse are in my pocket. I'll send them to war when you're ready for them. Is there anything on your mind? How's the rebuilding going on Omega? People understand the first order of business is shoring up defenses. No one wants another invasion. So they're enduring valiantly, not that they have a choice. Once again, I am Omega. We'll talk later. I'm sure.
It seems that the Blue Sun's blood... Is there anything on your mind? I miss afterlife. Yeah, this place is so clean it squeaks. Anyhow, thanks for the drink. But why'd you drag me out here? You, uh, still got that merchant trader? Yeah. Looking for work? Might as well. What you got? The Alliance is bringing medical supplies by the ton. I know a guy in customs. Crates of Medijo a few weeks ago are still sitting on the dock. My friend finds us a few... If I'm not needed to answer an inquiry, I would like some time alone. 50-50. What do you say? I should slit your goddamn throat? What? What the hell's your problem? Look at this! All it took was a Cerberus attack on the Citadel to get folks around here to pay attention to the war! How's this any different from normal? Can't you see the desperation? This isn't happy dancing. This is forget my problems dancing. Look at the arms. If a guy waves his arms like that, he's worrying about a lot more than looking stupid on the dance floor. That's surprisingly observant. I've had time to watch a lot of dancing from the sidelines. Speaking of which... Dancing? Watching from the sidelines. What do you think about me and Edie? Why not? Because I could break a bone just from some light over the clothes action? Eh, it's always a risk. But then so are the Reapers. Yeah, I wasn't planning on dating Harbinger. You know what I mean. If we all ended up dead this time tomorrow, what would you regret? Getting a shattered pelvis and a broken heart. Such a stupid idea. If you could be out there right now on the dance floor, would you be waving your arms? Yeah. Sounds like you got bigger things to worry about than looking stupid. Yeah, guess I do. Now, if you'll excuse me. anything yet. That's a start. Back again, I see. Why go after Cerberus? Started with them trying to hire me back after we hit the Collectors. Cerberus paid me enough after the Omega-4 relay. Retired is what I should have done. But it's tough to settle down, knowing the Reapers are on their way. What did Cerberus want? They wanted anyone with experience leading a fight. Gave me a tour of one of their new cruisers. Nice setup. Top-of-the-line ship, organized crew, damn impressive weapons. Thought I'd been shot at by every kind of gun, but didn't recognize half of what Cerberus was using. What scared you off? Another hunch. Cerberus wanted me to lead their new recruits, but I slipped off tour to talk to their soldiers. Found a restricted area and caught an officer without a helmet. Wasn't supposed to have done that, apparently. You saw what the elusive man did to his people? It's downright sick. I asked the soldier what the hell had happened to his face. Pissed him off. <laughs> or maybe he didn't even understand the question. Things go downhill with Cerberus from there? They didn't want me leaving, I can tell you. Shot my way out with one of their fancy new rifles. You know, I thought I'd find myself a bolt hole. 
sit this one out somewhere warm and quiet. But no one tries to trick me into becoming a goddamn husk. Been picking up jobs against Cerberus ever since. You seem pretty calm about the Reapers showing up. Just wish they'd waited until I was dead and buried before setting Earth on fire. At my age, you're supposed to take it easy. But that fleet you're putting together might make the Reapers think twice if you pull it off. If? Nothing personal. There's just a hell of a lot that could still go wrong. We're not gonna have much luck just sitting around. True, but you've picked a hell of a fight to get yourself into. Free space is shrinking every day, and everyone knows it. Should get your fleets moving, at least. Keep them focused. I'll keep it in mind. Who are those people you were with? Bunch of mercs from Omega. Signed on with them when I heard they were making a hit on Cerberus. Should have studied the job longer. There's no way you could have known Korlak stopped working for Cerberus. That's no excuse. I kill Korlak and I'd have done right by Cerberus. No. The way I see it, those bastards owe me. Do you know the current leader of the Suns? Vosk? Don't remind me. Little scumbag shot his mouth off on a patrol mission once. Got half his squad killed. Real popular after that. We couldn't boot him from the Suns fast enough. Should have ended his tenure with a bullet. Then what's Vosk doing as Blue Sun's leader? He's vicious, organized, and a suck-up. Vito must have welcomed him back once I was gone. Vosk thinks he's got a bargaining position with Arya. What a laugh. I'll give it a month before she knocks his teeth in. No designs on the Blue Suns yourself? I spent some of the best years of my life putting the Suns together. Nowadays, they're just another gang posing as mercenaries. Breaks my goddamn heart to see what Vito turned them into. So you're not interested? Nah. I was done with them a long time ago. See you around, Zaid. All right, Shepard. I'll be here a while. I've assumed full control of Eclipse, and we're committed to moving forward with Arya. I still think of those times in your cabin. Too bad I lost my old wardrobe. Reports also have them entering the Perseus Veil near Geth's space. Reaper forces have been sighted nice. in the Carnitha system within striking distance of mm -hmm. the I believe those are my credits. Refugee camps in the Citadel are straining existing resources, and the Council reports that food shortages may happen. What are you doing here? I'm waiting. Waiting? Waiting for who? More trouble. Oh, for my parents. They put me on the rest of the now control the Hades Nexus and Sentry Omega Cluster. For the first time since the Rack Nine War.
Shepard. I wasn't sure you'd deliberately seek me out. Why not? Do you remember when I first joined you, to stop the Collectors? I swore an oath to hunt you down if I were forced to do anything dishonorable. And were you? Considering the evil we faced, your acts were... ...acceptable, within the dictates of the Code. I simply request that you ask yourself if they'll remain so. I've made some tough decisions. I'm not happy with all of them. Your reflection does you credit, but it is not enough. Only your actions will be remembered. May you choose them well. What are the other Justicars doing for the war? Most have made it home. They will attempt to hold Thessia. With the odds we face, it's possible our order will no longer exist after this war. There's that few of you? Our numbers were never great. We must prepare to sacrifice ourselves, if that is what's required. Was being a Justicar worth it, if that's how it all ends? The Justicars were formed to bring order to a world that laughs at the notion. The role is solitary. Its demands are lonely and uncompromising, often to the point of pain. But following the code left me with no regrets. Take that for what you will. Will Falaire be all right in the monastery? Or what's left of it? We spoke for some time. It won't be easy. But if there is a way to survive, Falaire will find it. It was... good to see her again. Perhaps it's unseemly for a Justicar to dwell so much on her family. I'm just happy things worked out. I was fortunate that Falaire saw things so clearly. And it would have turned out quite differently without your intervention. Thank you. You know, I never asked you if your code has anything useful on fighting Reapers. Treat them as any other enemy. Show no quarter, mercy, or weakness. The only difference is the scale of our foe. The code is too strict to account for such... small discrepancies. Is that how you see it, too? An odd question. Coming from the Spectre who killed her third Reaper on Rannoch. Good luck out there, Samara. You as well. I don't know if you believe in such things, but Goddess go with you, Shepard. Your time is precious. Spend it wisely, and with those who care for you. Hello again, Shepard. Goodbye, Samara. Farewell, Shepard.
in addition to your medical discharge, the government wants to give you a medal. The intel you provided when that shuttle finally found you, you saved a lot of lives. And I killed those farmers. They were indoctrinated. You had to defend yourself. And as for Hillary, <sighs> idiot. When I took a shower and left my gun in the bedroom, I killed them. Hey, Ira. At least she can blame the Reapers. But I'm just... Me. Color on my eyes. Did they turn back after? Hey, Commander. I just wanted to say thank you. Just doing my job. Welcome to Serta. Thank you for shopping. Knowles, this is Shepard. I found one of the code locations. Okay, I'll shut it down. Just need to authorize your Spectre status. Someone used this to cut off power to a dozen life support machines in the hospital. Okay, that access code is officially disabled. Can you find any more? I believe you were looking for these prototypes. You found them? Thank you. These biotic upgrades will save a lot of Alliance lives. We'll begin production immediately. Here, for your trouble. Yes, General Corellius should make a full recovery. He's already awake and responsive. For the first time since the Rachni War, the Asai homeworld of Thessia has been attacked by alien. I came across this treatment plan at a chemical plant. Could it help? Treatment? What is... I've never seen this kind of process before. Huh. Probably experimental. It's a long shot, but let's run some tests and see if it might work for our patient. I pulled this from a Geth jamming tower. Maybe you can use it. How the hell did you... Oh, never mind. Tech like this? I don't care where it came from. I'll have my people run with this. When the war comes back here, maybe we can save more lives. Hey, Shepard. I have to admit, the place feels safer with you here. Everyone's walking around in a daze. Or in my case, limping. And I wonder if we'll ever be the same. These are dark days for all of us. Thought you'd be in the hospital. If I'm breathing, I'm working. Uh, probably the worst I've ever been hurt. Fitting, I guess, given the state of the galaxy. But if Cerberus thinks a few slugs is gonna keep me out of action, they've got another thing coming. All that time you were working for Udina, did you ever suspect? Always rubbed me a little wrong. Still, that traitorous bastard upped me. Probably made me for an idiot. <laughs> I guess I proved him right. He's dead and you're still here, Bailey. <laughs> Thanks to you. If you hadn't shown up, Udina and Cerberus would be dancing on my grave. 
Can this station be defended? The internal security breaches have been patched, but we're dangerously low on manpower. We're grilling our own people and trying to figure out if Udina acted alone, but it's time-consuming. All in all, we're still vulnerable, but I think we've taken the right steps. You hear anything about your family out there? Not a peep. I always believed I'd get a chance to tell my ex-wife a few things. And my kids on Earth. I was supposed to visit them. First vacation in years, but I had to cancel when I got promoted. Don't give up hope, Bailey. Thanks, Shepard. I'm really trying not to think about it. How does the Citadel fit into the war now? Uh, the war finally found us. This is so far beyond our imagination, and we have been trained to expect the unexpected. Since the coup attempt, folks are shutting down and shutting in. I hear a lot of praying and crying. They're saying this is a war to end all wars. Well, I haven't seen anything to say they aren't right. No time for rest. Good luck, Bailey. Yeah, you too, Shepard. Sergeant, I have a little brother. He went off planet to try and. Knowles, I found another spot where the Batarian codes were used. Holy crap. These are the remote navigation codes. Okay. 
Last week's crash at the docks, we thought it was an accident. Shepard, there were 117 Alliance soldiers on that ship. All human. Just like the patients at the hospital. So we've got Batarian codes and someone with a grudge against humans. Looks like... okay. This code's offline now as well. Should just be one left, Commander. My wife was just sent back to active duty, and I'm about to get shipped out, too. I was hoping you might be able to help me. Shepard, you. Spectre status recognized. you again, Earth Clan. Our military strength is minimal, but we are proud to help as we can. Excellent news. Your daughter's paperwork has been processed. It's you, hi. Your parents get here yet? Nope. It's okay. I mean, they'll get here. They always it's about time. Come on. Knowles, this is where the last access code was used. What's that, Commander? I'm losing your signal. Shepard. Balak. You should have killed me on that asteroid over Terra Nova. I've been waiting for this. 
Everything that has happened to my people is your fault. All I did was stop you at Terra Nova. Yes, after you ruined my plans, my government accelerated research efforts on the Leviathan of Dis. Have you heard of it, Commander? The ancient organic dreadnought my people recovered from Jartar 20 years ago? Sound familiar? A Reaper. Your people were studying a Reaper corpse. Yes, looking for a way to reclaim our place as the true power in the galaxy. Hundreds of our best scientists were enlisted. And then they became indoctrinated. When the Reapers reached Karshan, our own people betrayed us. Defense grids were deactivated. Ships fired on allied targets. We were destroyed from within because of you. The Batarians made enemies throughout the galaxy, and now you've paid the price for it. We were a proud race, a beautiful race. Have you seen what the Reapers have done to us? I'm trapped on this citadel. Our warships only know the locations of Reaper forces because I've tapped Council transmissions. I am the highest ranking military officer left in the hegemony, and I can't save my people. But I can end you. You're not gonna pull that trigger. You know what I'm doing out here. Yes, forging alliances with the Turians, the Krogan. Killing you will tear all the other races apart. And then the Reapers wipe out the last of your warships, the last of your people. And you know that. That's why you'll join us. We're all you have left. I could kill you. I could do it right now. Ah! Our ships are yours. Shepard, are you all right? Fine. You won't have any more trouble with those codes. Is that... Do you want me to arrest him? I want you to put a bullet in his head. We're all making some sacrifices today. Let him go. Spectre authority. Understood, Commander. And thanks. Son of a bitch. I still think of those times in your cabin. Too bad I lost my old wardrobe. You've got new messages, Commander. Thank you. 